CEO of the Greater Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce. We are trying at our chamber, I mean, every chamber is different and, you know, we've all have our, our layers and um, we've been doing chamber chats for about four and a half years now. And, you know, we just kind of thought, well, why don't we just do them, but do them more often. Uh, we don't want to overwhelm you. I know I've been on a boatload of webinars. It's like the new platform now and you're overwhelmed with webinars. Um, however, I do find that um, still feeling connected and having this our normal luncheon, our first Wednesday of the month um, from 12 to 1, even though we won't have Tommy's video of food, he'll probably have his own fabulous food at home, and we won't have, you know, the awards and the, the tabletops, it's still an opportunity to kind of feel that sense of normalcy, because I don't know about you, I'm even getting the days all confused. It's like, uh, they just continually working, and it's just, I don't know, it's nice to kind of actually put on some I dressed up today and, and put on jewelry and, and <laughs> you know, not walking around in sweatpants. Um, so it's just kind of nice. And we wanted to do that as well with our, uh, for our business professional last Tuesday of the month. So that's going to be like our usual one from eight to nine 30. And then we'll continue to have webinars. We have Josh Adams coming on next week and he's talking about leading in the time of crisis. And that's going to be from uh, two to three, our usual time that we try and do the webinars on the eighth. And we'll just continue to get them out there. So always check back with our Facebook page. That's really our most up to date one. So um, I think we have the, do we have the PowerPoint or is it, I don't see it on my screen now. Yes, give me a couple of seconds and I will share it. We have our technical genius with us, so. <laughs> All righty, so, oh, look at that. Our, our same lovely slides that we always have, isn't that nice? Okay, so um, we are, welcome to our luncheon then. So click to start the mouse keyboard, okay. Hopefully that worked. No? Oh, there we go. Okay. So, well, you don't, if you'd like to stand or just sit there and do your pledge, we have our flags. I have my little, I had to go get these. I have my little portable flags. So um, we're going to start with our usual stuff. So I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We need Rob Medina. Hoorah. Um, okay. So moving on. Oh, look at that. Okay. Wow, this is actually working. I'm very impressed. Thank you, Carolina. And thank you to uh, Shannon Gronage for allowing us to use her platform because um, she's just the most awesome person and we truly appreciate um, her support and letting us do this. So um, our board of directors, I really still wanted to let everybody know who's working really hard for them um, during this time. Our board of directors um, is having meetings and, uh, you know, kind of discussing really the importance of the, where the chamber needs to go. So on our board of directors, we have Adam Copenhaver with Linkio, Alfreda Wooten with Florida Power and Light, Beverly Wiggins, Home Instead Senior Care, Chelsea Camaro, Five Star Claims Adjusting, David Alpazar, Alpazar Law, David Pett, Health First Health Plans, Dominic Paz, Morse Communications, Eni Windle, Aloha Maintenance, George Galetko with Waste Management, Holly Tanner, LH Tanner Construction, Jessica Moore, 142 Productions. We have Keith G, the Children's Hunger Project, which I'm not sure if that's still correct. Today might have been the first day on his new job. We have Rob Salonen with Florida Tech, Sarah Levanti with the e Economic Development Commission. Shelly Coons, ASAP Pest Solutions, and Tracy Strodard, our chairwoman with everythingbrevard.com. I also wanted to introduce our ambassadors because normally our ambassadors are the ones that you guys get to meet that are here to um, help you. And, uh, you know, when you're not sure about um, who to network with or uh, you want to make some contacts, our ambassadors are really our rock stars. So we have Christine Walker with Blank Canvas Creations, Decor, and More. Deidre Beecham, Bold Breakthroughs, Deb Jansen, LF Staffing, Diane Bryson, Truth Choice Technologies, 
Jim, Ginger Aiello, BRG Air System. She's co-chair with Deb Jansen. We have Greg Quinones with Linkio, Heather Casbero, a Mother's Touch Movers, Janice Fox, Spotlight Magazine, Jennifer Helen, Seniors Helping Seniors, Jennifer Valliere, Thrivent Financial, Joe Rallette, Florida Health, Ken Stamp, Hometown News, and Tara Linnell, Tara's Animal Care. So thank you to all of our ambassadors and our board of directors. We did not do dignitaries. We're not sure uh, who was joining us, so um, we can save that. But we wanna thank our Emerald Trustee partner, the City of Palm Bay. They renewed their trusteeship with us and that seriously, um, we really appreciate their support. We have been sending out information from the city. So of things that are closed, uh, press releases, go to their uh, website though. They have up-to-date information. So if you're looking for uh, permitting, that type of thing, it'll give you all the information that you need. So make sure that you check out the city of Palm Bay. Um, our goal trustees are Waste Management, Health First, Health Plans, Palm Bay Air and Heat. We have our silver trustees with the city of West Melbourne um, and check every day how Rose is sending out information. So what's happening in the city, things that are open, uh, businesses that are open. Uh, we have Florida Tech, FPL, L3 Harris, BRG Air Systems and Riverview Senior Resort. Our bronze trustee partners, we have Sam's Club, Yellow Dog Cafe, Michael Gregg, Sandy Mickelson, JAG Financial, ASAP Pass Solutions, Home to Suite and Hyatt Place. Victoria Landing, Buena Vida Estates, Brevard Public Schools, that's the PI program, uh, Bass Pro Shop, Linkio, TD Bank, Print Depot, Civil's Relaxation Station, we have LH Tanner Construction, Adams Home, Publix, Promise and Brevard, and our newest one is the Orlando Melbourne International Airport. So we really wanna thank all our trustees. They are seriously um, helping the chamber and having the chamber open helps all of our business partners. So we really appreciate our trustees. We do have our media partners. So we're still sending out information. I have an article every month and every or every other month that it, it comes out and everything brevard.com uh, saving, I think it went too fast. Hold on, let me go back. Oh no. <laughs> Is there any way to make it move back? I went too far. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so Saving Safari, every month we put an ad in there. And um, so it goes to the Palm Bay residents. So we really want to thank them. Uh, Senior Scene Magazine, we also have an ad in there this month uh, talking about the chamber and our chamber chat. So we truly appreciate all that our business partners, our media partners are doing uh, digital ink uh, design and printing. We have Hometown News, One for Two Productions, and Space Coast Magazine. So thank you all. Um, we still had a number of new members in um, March. Yeah, so we're in April. Yeah, March. So um, even though it was kind of chaotic, we were started off the month uh, with a bang. Uh, so we had Alfie's um, Trucking Inc. We have uh, Cypress Inspections. Interior Fusion, Creative Cleaning, St. Vincent de Paul Society, Tetra Horizon Corporation, and Wells Fargo Home Mortgage. Um, and I think Serene Harbor might have gotten in there um, in March, but we'll also announce them in April. So I think that's probably when we got everything um, into our system. So we want to welcome all of our newest members. If you are looking to assist in any way, uh, the St. Vincent de Paul Society is accepting food donations. It's Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, 9.30 to 11.30. They're right on Malabar Road. They're also accepting donations for Tom Redman, who is helping the homeless camps. So if you have um, anything you'd like to donate, you can get that um, over to them. I am not going to read all our renewals, as uh, you know, it's, it's a long list and we appreciate all the uh, people that were re able to renew with us. We are still open and working for our chamber partners, so if you are able to renew, we certainly appreciate your support. We understand that it's a difficult time um, for everybody, but we know... Um, like us, we're still paying our bills and that. So if you are able to, we certainly appreciate that. Um, and if you can't, we understand. 
Uh, we also have our uh, referral program. So even though you might be at home, if you um, know somebody that might want to be part of our chamber, we um, once we're back live, uh, you will get your free monthly luncheon um, at Promise and Brevard. So we just want to still, you know, try and uh, be here for you and do whatever we can. So thank you all for that. Um, I'm going to have actually uh, Adam Copenhaver come on now. Uh, he is, uh, Carolina has to change over the um, PowerPoint for Catherine and Linkio was our sponsor this month. So if we can bring Adam on uh, to be able to say a few words about Linkio and if you're able to change the PowerPoint while he's talking, that would be great. Or do I just need to click on him? Oh, there we go and allow him to talk. Let me do that. Okay, I think Adam, you are, oops. I think you are unmuted now. Okay, can you hear me? I can. Hi, good, good um, afternoon now. How are you guys? Um, yes, I'm really thankful to be able to have this opportunity to speak with you guys and sponsor. Um, the, the chamber has been incredible for our business and really gotten us into the community more and helped us establish a lot more deep, deep relationships in the community. So um, at Linkio, this is our 20th year in business. We've built over 45,000 websites. And um, you know today we serve about 27,000 local business owners to provide them with their digital marketing needs. Um, we build websites, we audit existing websites, and we provide digital marketing outlets. So we're able to take your investment and precisely target your ideal client um, online and through mobile devices um, and through Google search. So I look forward to the rest of the meeting. I'm really excited about our speaker today. And um, I... Did we lose him? He unmute himself. Oh, he muted himself? Okay. Oh, there, I was trying to get him on. Oh, there we are. Okay, so, oh, there you go. Woohoo! I apologize. <laughs> I thought, yeah, we could get his picture on there. I don't know why we just keep showing, you know, his name, but um, it does help because your name is a little difficult. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. So, um, and really, you've been such a great partner with um, the Chamber, and we certainly appreciate your trusteeship and being on the board. You, you're just um, a rock star, and we, um, the webinar we had with you, it's getting close to a thousand views, so just so you know. Um, hey, hey. Keep going up, that's good. So. I so saw we had about 20 shares as well, so that's really great. It, I yeah. appreciate it. It's really helpful. And if you, for people that are on um, the webinar today, you can go back and look at any of the ones that we have had. So we've had about, I don't know, what are we up to? About five or six now. Um, and they are really great information. We had one with our Florida representative, Randy Fine. We had um, one that had uh, Kevin Chancer on it. We had Rob Rains. We had John at um, Rollins with the um, South Brevard um, Health Alliance. And um, let's see, I'm trying They've to- They've been think. great. They've oh yeah, Susan great. Mazza, yeah, Susan Mazza was on. So if you're feeling a little stressed out, she was giving tips on how to kind of, in the, all this chaos, um, you know, really take care of yourself. So that was a really good one. That was on, on uh, Tuesday, I think, when I was driving back, Monday or Tuesday. Anyway, I was watching it in the car. So they did a great job with Tracy Strotter, it was our um, guest host on that one as well. So. Uh, if you have some topics that you'd like us to cover, please reach out to us. I still have the phone um, directed to my, um, the, the chamber phone directed to my cell phone. So we're getting calls. Um, you can email us. Uh, we're, we're still here for you. We're all working. So Carolina, you can see is doing all our digital stuff, but Cindy is calling our members and Pat's still doing the finances. Not that there's a lot, but she's working on it. So, um, but uh, yeah, everybody's still here for you. So. Um, so thank you, Adam. If you wanted to um, just say uh, one more thing about Linkio, what kind of sets you apart? Like what makes Linkio a little different? Perfect, I appreciate that. I would say the main differences in a digital marketing agency, um, you know, 98% of marketers just are resellers and they don't actually build websites. They don't actually run marketing campaigns. So we have a staff of approximately 700 
we do all the work in house. We build websites, we run marketing campaigns, and I'm proud to say that we have the lowest creation and management fees in the industry. So if you realize that this COVID-19 is going to hang around for a couple months and we might still be uh, a lot of people close to home for a couple months, I highly recommend that you look at a digital marketing platform. Give me a call, shoot me a message. I'll provide advice to you, whether you do it yourself or whether you hire an agency like Linkio. Um, really, the way to reach people right now is going to be through Google search. There's been an incredible uh, explosion of search because we're all stuck at home, but we still <laughs> buy things and we still are looking for services to our home. I have them frozen. It's online um, and really consider. I think we're having some technical difficulties, Adam. We're not really hearing you. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you so much. I, okay. I appreciate you guys and I appreciate what you're doing, the information flowing. So keep it up. Good job, guys. Okay, well, thank you, Adam. Um, so now I will introduce our keynote speaker. We have Catherine Redloff. Uh, she holds a Bachelor of Science in Political Science from the Ohio State University and a Master's in Political Management from George Washington University. She has worked in strategic messaging and uh, communications and fundraising for political committees and campaigns in Washington, D.C., California, and Florida. She has worked on campaigns at every level, local, state, federal, and even the 2007 presidential campaign as Florida Director of Field Operations. She has most recently served as Executive Director of Business Voice Political Committee, a local pro-business PAC here in the Space Coast. Catherine is active in the community, volunteering with the Junior League of South Brevard, MOPS Ministry, the Haven for Children, and Family Promise of Brevard. As an advocate for women and children and for her work in the political arena, she was recognized in 2017 as one of Brevard's four under 40 leaders by Lead Brevard. She and her husband, Alex Rudloff, have three young children and enjoy travel and all things Disney. Unfortunately, I'm sure the kids are very sad that they're not able to go there right now. Um, but we're thrilled with Catherine with her new uh, position as a as executive director of We Venture. So um, I just really thought it was important to have Catherine on to talk about all that We Venture does. And now that they're working um, to help with loans and everything, I really was thrilled to have her on um, with her SBA connection. So Catherine, I turn the floor over to you. And see, can everyone hear me okay? Yes. We have thumbs up, okay, good. Yes. Um, so I am so grateful to be with you all today. Um, I wish we could be together in person. I am an extrovert, so all of this social distancing is extremely hard on me, um, but I love seeing the smiling faces that I can see on this Zoom, and I hope you'll find this information um, useful. Carolina, can they see my slides yet, or should we start that? There we go. Okay, go to the play. So this is kind of our We Venture logo. And again, we are, um, our goal is to accelerate business growth for entrepreneurs. We can go to the next slide. Um, a lot of people don't realize We Venture has been around for a very long time. We are actually founded um, as a grant that Florida Tech University got um, from the SBA back in 2007. Um, and so we were just known as a women's business center then. And the SBA actually funds these women business centers around the country. So just as we have the local small business development center at Florida, or I'm um, sorry, Eastern Florida State College, the SBA also funds centers to be designated as a women's business center. And that just means we can help um, businesses both, you know, who are male and female owned, but we do have some specific programming geared towards um, women. And then we do try to be an environment where female entrepreneurs will feel comfortable coming towards to help them overcome any barriers, you know, systemic barriers um, that women face um, still to start their own. So we've been around at Florida Tech. I think they changed their name from just a women's business center to We Venture back in 2014. Um, and then I have just joined the team in January as their executive 
director. So can we go to the next slide, Caroline? Awesome. So our focus really is on entrepreneurs um, in the best of times, right? So we're dedicated to igniting that power of women and entrepreneurs. Um, we do focus on new businesses. Oh, we can go back new businesses and growing businesses. So, um, you know, our goal is to, and, and what we're measured by is the number of new businesses that we help launch, the number of new employees that we're able to help businesses hire, and the number of businesses that we're able to help get access to capital. So we're very much an entrepreneurial in spirit, um, but we do have programming to meet the needs um, for your entire business cycle from the time that you launch until you are a thriving, um, you know, growing established business. Um, and really our goal at WeVenture is to be that regional voice for all professional women. Um, we wanna offer um, programming and support that meets you wherever you are in your career and wherever your business is and growing. Um, and that's what we strive to do every day. The next slide. So there's 13 million of these women business centers around, I'm sorry, 13 million women owned businesses in the United States. Um, as of the study in 2019, who employ 9.4 million workers. Um, female business ownership has surged, if you can go back one, has surged in the last two decades. Um, and we've actually seen it um, almost exponential for a while in the early 2000s. Um, so our own numbers, we reflect that um, a great deal. We went from serving maybe you know, 250, 300 clients a year, and in the last couple of years, our numbers have been over 600 clients per year, unique clients um, that we've helped offer uh, business consultations to. So these women's business centers around the country are really the boots on the ground of the SBA um, and the federal government investing in our local economy to help this growing number of female business owners um, find success. Thank you. Um, and we do have a great record of success. We've been recognized um, for five consecutive years as a center of excellence. We're competing with other centers that are in Miami, Tampa, and Jacksonville, um, and then some in Atlanta. Oh, can we go back one? And um, so that's really a distinction that the staff is very proud of. Um, and the most important thing that we like to offer is that a lot of these are low or completely no cost programs. So for example, our business coaching. If you are just a small business owner or an aspiring entrepreneur and you don't know where to go, certainly you cannot afford some high-priced you know, New York or um, San Francisco consultant to come in and help you launch your venture. We, not only as our trained staff, um, I have four staff that work with businesses directly, but we have a whole um, list of volunteers who are experienced um, in, in all sectors of industry that volunteer with us to help do this business coaching and mentoring. So when you come to us, if our staff does not feel they're in a position where we can get you the insight that you need, we have a whole lineup of volunteer coaches that you know they've been successful in their business and they love to come help entrepreneurs now find their success. Um, and, and so, you know, and we'll meet with you numerous times. This isn't you get, oh, you get us for 30 minutes and that's all you get and then the clock starts ticking. We're here to help you and, and be a resource for you as you're growing um, your business. And then um, our business training opportunities. So this is where we set ourselves apart um, because we do try to offer practical training opportunities. We'll bring in the HR specialists, we'll bring in how to do Excel, we bring in the social media consultants, um, and, and we have conversational type trainings, but then we also have programs like the Kaufman Fast Track and our GEMS program, which is goal-oriented goal -oriented entrepreneurs making strides. I always forget that acronym. Um, and that's where we help an entrepreneur, aspiring entrepreneur, do everything from write your business plan, do some market research, um, and then we end by actually helping you file your paperwork and launch your business. Um, so we have programs, whether they're you know, one-time seminars or whether they're a 10 or 12 week session um, to help you ensure that you launch and you put your best foot forward when you start your business. And then of course we do our um, purposeful networking as we call them events, which is usually our strong coffee, strong women, and we connect seminars. And the goal of that is to bring professional women together where you can find a, a cohort um, to talk about the issues that, that we face that might be unique to women in business. But of course, as I said, men are always welcome to join our sessions. It's just the topics are often a little bit targeted towards 
um, our female audience. Um, next slide. I don't know what's next. We'll find out. Okay, so this is our numbers. So this is where I said our numbers really jumped a bit. We used to serve um, between two and 300 clients a year. Um, and then all of a sudden in the last couple of years, we've seen those numbers jump up to 500 and we peaked last year at the highest ever in one year we venture served 623 unique clients. We helped 20 new, 29 new businesses launch um, that created 31 jobs and that's a total um, revenue of over $5 million um, from our clients that we've helped serve. So um, we are held to a great amount of accountability from the Small Business Administration. We track every consult, every um, client that we help, and we follow up with you, you know, on a monthly or quarterly basis, and that's where we're able to get some of this fantastic data because we have those SBA requirements, and it's really, it's a chance for everyone to see what your tax dollars are going to, because this is, you know, we're funded in part through the, the federal government, um, and then this is, we're able to show, great, we had 29 new businesses in Brevard launch because of our services. So um, it's great accountability, but it's also really something that we're proud to, to share with the community about what we do. The next slide, please. Um, so this program is actually unique to WeVenture. It was started, as many of you might know, we are located within the Florida Tech College of Business. And so this is a program that was developed from WeVenture you know, within the, the College of Business, our Ignite 360 mentoring program. And this is very customized consultation. So again, you could go and hire you know, a big firm out of New York or Orlando or somewhere to do business consult, or you can come to WeVenture. And what we do is we pull from our, you know, we have over a hundred volunteers um, and we put together a team that is exactly right for you. Whether you need to overcome um, HR issues, whether you are overcoming some planning for growth and some organizational structure that needs to happen, um, whether you have a, you know, series of, um, challenges, let's say responding to a national crisis, I don't know. Um, we will put together a team of professionals, usually three to four, who will sign up to work with you over a six month period. And you will set defined goals and objectives of what your business needs to accomplish. And they will work with you hand in hand um, over the course of those months to ensure um, you know, that your objectives are met. And our Ignite 360 graduates see tremendous growth in revenue. They see tremendous success in terms of um, productivity um, and, and growth. And these are the individuals that we like to see go on and then become, you know, multi-million dollar producing businesses, you know, because they're able to scale up and grow. Um, so this is for not um, entrepreneurs in, in the early stages, but this is more of an established business looking to overcome a strategic hurdle or looking to get into that next growth phase. And thankfully, um, entrepreneurs do what they do. And even despite this, this COVID crisis, um, we are having businesses sign up for this because sometimes this, this downtime, it turns out, is a great opportunity for small business owners to work, as they say, on their business rather than just in their business. So we actually have a few people who'd been debating if they were going to do Ignite or not make that commitment now because they have the time and they're going to dive in and, and do some of the, the deep work on their business. So hopefully when they come out the other side, they'll be stronger. So um, I'd love to speak to anybody who might find yourself in a, in a similar position. Um, next slide. And then these are some of our programs um, that are geared um, specifically towards women. Everything else that I mentioned are open to both um, males and females. We're gender neutral programming. We'll help entrepreneurs from any background. Um, but these couple slides are what we do specifically targeted um, towards uh, professional women. So our Athena Next Gen um, Leadership Series is a just what it sounds like. It's once a month for about 10 months. And we come together and focus on the eight um, leadership principles of Athena International. It's an international program and we're the local chapter um, and it's a wonderful opportunity for kind of that mid-career uh, woman who is looking to um, grow into leadership positions 
um, within her corporation or business. Um, and then our Women Who Raft, we were so sad. This is our annual luncheon where we recognize outstanding women like Nancy from the Palm Bay Chamber, one of our nominees this year. Um, and we usually host that every month in celebration of Women's History Month. And right now we're saying it's postponed. We hope to do this in June where we have a date in October reserved. So it's not canceled, it's postponed. Um, but that's where we get to celebrate women in the community who are doing amazing things and, and lift them up and come together to celebrate a very inspirational day. Um, and then our Impact Summit, think TED Talk, um, conference, empowerment. It's a little bit different every year, but this is our signature event where women come together and we try to fill your cup. There's so many things that you go to where you leave you know, exhausted with minds of to-do lists and what are we gonna do? And this is an inspirational day. Come fill your cup. Let's help you be a better leader um, and business owner. Um, next slide. Now, currently, because normally we are all about helping entrepreneurs and businesses grow, but in this crisis management, we are the boots on the ground for the Small Business Administration. And we're working very closely with the SBDC, the Small Business Development Center, both at um, Eastern Florida and in Indian River County. Um, and we are getting our directives directly from the Small Business Administration so that we can help answer questions about the various loan products that are out there, um, work on filling out the applications, and really just doing those consults to see what is best for your business, what path should you take, because businesses do have a number of options right now. Um, so we're still doing those free business consultations and, and, and coachings. And like I said, all of our other programs, we're still continuing, but we will be here um, getting information out to the chambers and working with the SBDCs. Um, this, I hate to say this, but I don't think the CARES Act will be the last thing we see come down from Congress. Um, I think we, we have probably more legislation in the near future. Um, so we will be there to help um, get information out to the public um, and um, make sure that everyone's getting accurate information. That's why we started, as Nancy mentioned at the beginning, a cooperative, um, you know, once a week call where all of us from the business community are coming together so we can all share the same accurate information and make sure every small business is getting the help they need. Um, next slide. And of course, so entrepreneurs see opportunity everywhere. And even in this time of crisis, we know that there are businesses out there who will be thriving. And my message to you today is that is okay. I'm so excited for you that, you know, if you're in social media marketing or I had a, a session yesterday, a Florida tech grad has a web conferencing software. Well, guess what? They're booming. <laughs> um, and we're happy to help them grow. Sometimes you are at the right intersection of opportunity, and we would love to help you there. And then the same is true, that if this time of crisis is causing you to reevaluate your business model, if this is causing you to look more closely at um, not only your organization, but your income, your expert, however we can, we have um, a thing called business model canvas, some of you may be familiar with, and we have worksheets that we'll work through you to help you really hone in and, and get through this and, and find out what you can be doing to stay relevant and stay in business, because I think that's everyone's goal. Um, and so we want to help you seize your opportunity, um, especially, especially um, uh, whether it's time for growth now or whether it's to make sure that we can help keep you stay open. I think I have one more slide, my frequently asked questions. Yeah, so these are some of the things... Um, I can open it up for questions from the group, I think, Nancy, but um, I'll preempt with some questions by answering these. Um, yes, men are 100% welcome at almost every event we do. Um, I think with the exception of our Athena um, leadership series, just about everything is gender neutral and we do have um, many men and um, our male allies, as I like to say, that come and support our programs. And we can offer business consultation. You do not have to be 51% female owned. Um, uh, would my business really benefit from WeVenture? I would love to share with you um, testimonials. We have some on our website or I can put you in link. If you're unsure of exactly what Ignite 360 might be or if you're an entrepreneur, I can do a business plan. You know, I took a business class in college. Um, okay, well, let us walk you through the structured program. Sometimes they're called accelerators um, that we'll put you through to help ensure that your business endeavor gets off on the right foot. So I would say hands down, yes, come check out what we're doing. Again, most of our things are low or no cost um, to you. And when I say low or no cost, I mean our most expensive programming that we offer, that Ignite 360, a two-month, um, or I'm sorry, a six-month session, I believe is um, 
$2,500, right? So that's our most expensive program. Well, you're getting consultation of three to four professionals over that six month period who are walking side by side. You could go get a business consultant out of Orlando or New York and it would cost you tens of thousands of dollars. So it really is still quite affordable. And then most of our other courses are either completely free or at that 10 or $20 mark um, if we do have some overhead we need to cover. Um, what makes WeVenture different and special? And I like to tie that into my next bullet point there. It's being at Florida Tech. When you come to WeVenture, you are coming to the Florida Tech Fisk College of Business. Our professors and the administration um, work very closely with us to make sure that we are providing um, not just accurate um, information, but that also we are reflecting the market demands of our community. And so we have a really unique opportunity to bring academia and the active entrepreneurial community together. Um, and, and it influences all of our programming and what we bring forth. Um, and then we do, we have a lot of individuals who will start at some of our free courses that we offer at WeVenture and they end up maybe pursuing um, that MBA or going on to just take a few accounting classes if that's where they discover they need to do. So it's wonderful to have that partnership. It makes us unique. Some women's business centers are standalone organizations, but being a part of the Florida Tech College of Business is our greatest strength and we really do play into that. Um, and then how can you get involved with WeVenture? Um, I'd love to say come to our events, but we will still be doing webinars. So um, you can always keep up with us on social media or go to our webpage and sign up for our newsletter. And most all of our programming that we would normally do in person will now be taking place via webinar in the coming months. Our Athena Leadership Series is, is still moving forward. Um, and we are always looking for mentors. So as many of you in the chamber might be established businesses, maybe you've found your success, maybe you've overcome some hurdles. If you find you're in a place where you still have the entrepreneurial itch, but you have no desire to start another company, come be a mentor. Walk side by side, help someone else make those decisions. You can, like I said, scratch that entrepreneurial itch by partnering with and mentoring with them. Um, and it's a tremendous amount of um, experience that we bring in sharing. Uh, and, and you get a lot out of it. It's just like any other volunteer opportunity. You do get a lot out of helping these businesses grow um, and you can see the results here in our local community. Um, and then I would be remiss if I didn't say that we do, we are a nonprofit. So the SBA um, gives us that $150,000 grant to the university and we have a match requirement. So we have to raise $150,000 a year from the local community to be able to continue to operate and offer these low and no cost programs. So if you are um, a believer in supporting female entrepreneurs, if you've gotten value out of some of our programming, we welcome you to join us as an investor and help us meet that match and continue to offer um, our low, no cost programs to the next generation of entrepreneurs. And I think that's it for my presentation. If there is a question, um, option. I'm happy to, to field some questions, whether about WeVenture specifically, or we can try to dive in. Um, uh, People you know. are able to type in the chat box. We can also open it up to everybody. Um, maybe what we can do, are you able to stay on with us, Catherine? Yes. Okay, so maybe I'll finish to the end of um, the PowerPoint presentation we have and then we'll open it up so everybody can be on and we can see each other and we can kind of do a little networking thing and if there's questions then we can make sure that, um, you know, they get answered. Yeah. So. So thank you, Catherine. That was great. I knew that there's so much that we venture does and we certainly uh, appreciate having you as a great resource in our community. So um, thank you for sharing that today. And, and as she mentioned, uh, with all the SBA information that they are getting and able to um, help you with knowing which one, which grant or which loan is best for your business, it really is rather confusing. And you wanna, you know, it, it doesn't cost anything to talk to one of these professionals. So um, I would uh, recommend calling them and, and letting them know more about your business and making sure that you fill out all the paperwork properly. We do have our Brevard business community. So that's all the chambers we venture and everything I mentioned uh, working together. This Friday from 1 to 2.30, we're having Brevard business support working with local lenders. So that's a webinar for, I think, up to 250 people. So if that's something that you are interested in, 
uh, we'll make sure we get that link out for you so you can get on that webinar. Um, it's great information and they do recommend talking to your local banker first just because a lot are SBA approved for uh, rapid loans and they know you better. I mean just sending off your application form without talking to your local lender they have a lot of options here locally and know your business so make sure you reach out to um, you know our community partners and I think uh, one of our great ones is community credit union. And uh, so as we move along uh, to the next slide, first we have Florida Tech. And that is our, oh, I get to do it now. Don't, oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot I could do this. Um, so Florida Tech Continuing Education, they always um, sponsor either a police uh, firefighter or our ambassador of the quarter. Um, I did, I was remiss, I missed uh, Mark Gallegos. Uh, he is also an ambassador. Uh, so thank you, Mark, for uh, being on the call with us. I tried to pull it up from my email list, so I need to make sure I get you added in. Um, so Florida Tech continuing education, probably now more than ever, it's important to um, keep informed. I don't know if they're doing some online trainings um, through that. They often have amazing speakers, especially a lot of the professors from Florida to that Florida Tech. Uh, and they usually have pie. Uh, that's when you get to meet in person. But um, for now, you're um, yeah, just going to have to have your Pop-Tart at home. But um, it's kind of a, a great uh, organization to belong to. They do have a membership and they have something every single month. So that's the Florida Tech Continuing Education. And then our um, next sponsor is our um, Business of the Month. And that's Community Credit Union. And as I mentioned, make sure you reach out to your local uh, banker first, whoever you are currently dealing with for your company. Um, they know you, they're able to work with you and give you some helpful information and maybe able to uh, do a, a longer range loan at a very inexpensive price. So uh, I would check with them first. Um, we wanted to, the business of the month is kind of, um, well, it's difficult and we don't have somebody to give it to them and Carolina can't take their photo. So, uh, you know, and that's always the fun part of it. So uh, we really just wanted to take the time to recognize um, all the people on the front lines uh, making the difference. All those first responders, the police, the fire, the EMTs, all the doctors and nurses and healthcare practitioners. Um, this is a thank you to all the employees still working, the construction workers and those in the mental health field trying to assist their patients um, those that are in the Walmarts and the grocery stores. Um, so many people are still doing their job and they don't have personal protection that they should have. Um, we want to thank all of them. I'm sorry, my sister's a visiting nurse and she goes out every day into people's homes and they don't have masks. And they're putting themselves on the line to save other people. So we commend them. So um, we just ask that during this time of high anxiety that um, everyone be, be kind to one another, both in person and on social media. I've just seen some absolutely horrible responses from some people and I'm just kind of floored. We're all in this together and it really um, doesn't do anyone any good to be rude or um, swearing on Facebook. I just, I just don't understand that. So um, thank you to all those people. Thank Sorry. you, Nancy. Okay. Next, we have Chamber Chat. So we are continuing to bring you these. Um, those are going to be able to register. You go to Facebook, uh, you just click, click on Get Tickets, and then that gives you the um, Zoom. If you want to be on Zoom, that's where after this, we're going to click and everybody is able to come on and see each other. Um, but if you just want to watch on Facebook Live, that's okay too. Uh, it's, um, you know, we're here one way or the other. So if you want to be in your pajamas and no one sees you, I know somebody had just mentioned that they did their hair and, um, uh, you know, can we get to see them? So yes, I don't want you doing your hair in vain. So we'll make sure that you get on, uh, on the chamber chat here. Um, we have our Brevard Business Professionals. I already mentioned that April 28th, it's at 8 a.m. And Linda Cobb is a personal psychologist. So um, an executive coach. So she's got 25 years experience. I think a perfect one um, to be on what it's like to work for you at, at this time when we're socially isolated 
and working for ourselves really you are you know often if you're still with your business you're working for them but you have to take care of yourself as well so she's going to let us know um you know just give us some tips and some help and uh we have eight to nine it might even go a little longer normally we do at eight to nine thirty it depends on how long shannon's um virtual networking is so make sure you join us at eight i know it's early i was like oh but um yeah you have to set your alarm that morning and um get up for that one um the next one is our um business directory and community guide. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that because uh, we were in the process of sending it off to um, the printer and realized that everything has kind of changed. And so we wanted to make sure really that since it's out for so long, we print 10,000 copies that it really is going to be relevant information by the time it gets out. So we are calling all our members, um, finding out um, who the contact people are. Unfortunately, there has been some layoffs and some of our resources that are in our um, computer system are not accurate right now. So we're making sure that we update that. So once we get everybody's back and in, um, in full, full gear again um, we'll have that and, and get that over to the printer we just thought it was kind of not going to do anybody any good if we were printing uh, misinformation in there uh, so it was kind of in a way a blessing so we also have um, our our um, digital guide or our digital sign uh, we put a special on for a whole month for two hundred dollars so or six weeks I apologize for two hundred dollars um, there's not 25,000 cars a day going by there right now because of, um, you know, the self distancing, but there's still, I am shocked at how many cars go by. I'm on US one here. So I hear all the cars going by every day. So it's still a great opportunity if you're wanting to get your logo out there or um, an ad or letting people know that you're open. Um, I think that's kind of uh, an important thing for people to know. So you're able to utilize our digital sign. Um, you're also able to sponsor some of our things like our chamber chat, um, our um, Intel that Carolina sends out every week. Now a couple times a week because of the different information that's going out there um, and our website. So we have opportunities for you to keep in front of people. Um, these, I have to say these webinars that we're doing, the minimum views we had was about 863 we never have 863 people at our luncheon. So um, you're getting way more exposure by this. The, our, one of the ones we did last week had 2,100 views on it. So um, see this as a great opportunity to continue to promote your business. And we've made it really, really affordable. I think we have things for $50 and um, you know, it just really is, uh, we're trying to help your business and um, the chamber isn't shut down. I know that, uh, we're not having our events that we normally do in our networking, but I, seriously, we're all still working for you. So um, continue to work on your business. And um, our next thing that we have is um, the Member Plus app. So if you are wanting to easily register for everything, download this. It's also your great way to connect to other members. So if you're kind of um, wanting to know if somebody's open or be able to call them or um, you know, be in touch with them, if you download this, it gives you the directory right in your app and you can look up their phone number and who their representatives are and how you can call them and their addresses. It's, it's fantastic. And we keep trying to tell people to download it. Um, and you know, it's, it's great to have on your phone so that you don't have to go on Facebook all the time. And you know, when you do it, it's that little member plus. So I don't know if you can see, I'm very dark um, here, but it's this little um, member plus app. That's what it'll look like on your phone. And if you download it, like I said, you've got your member listing, you can see your own profile, you can update your own profile on that. And if you have not done that, if you look back at our webinar that we did on Monday, it was our member optimization. Um, so we talked about all the benefits of a chamber, Greater Palm Bay Chamber uh, membership. And Carolina actually walks you through doing your profile Profile. So if you have not never updated your profile, now's the time to do that kind of stuff. Um, we also have um, Congressman Bill Posey was supposed to be our guest speaker for May. I think during this time that probably will not be happening. I know they are really busy um, every day in, in, at Capitol Hill. So we will let you know who we will have on. So join us here next month. Um, and that's the first Wednesday of May. And that's going to be the 6th. And we'll do it um, from, 
we'll look earlier. So we'll figure out how we can do that virtual networking. We're going to try now, now that I'm going to stop talking, um, to be able to get everybody on so we can have you share your experiences or things that you need or, um, you know, resources that you know of. Uh, so we might do that virtual networking for the first half hour and then go into the program. So um, just watch our Facebook page and you'll see we'll, we might be changing the time on that. So, and at this point, we'd normally been drawing for ra um, raffles. And, you know, so I'll just say that uh, Fred Poppy and Diane Bryson, you won again. Uh, surprise, surprise. And um, we'll look forward to uh, when we actually have some prizes and you can uh, win something. So let's try and turn this on. So we'll get rid of our slide presentation and we'll open it up to the audience now so that um, we can see everybody. And um, if you have questions or want to speak, then we'll put you on. Um, as a presenter. So there's, we've got Catherine, is there any? We have Mary Watkins and Sue Hall, Timothy Meyer, we've got Tracy Stroddard. Um, any of you guys wanna come on? Mark Gallegos, um, Maria Waddell, we have Julie uh, Dimi, Joe Rolettes, Jessica at 142 Productions, Jennifer Valier, Greg Quinones, Geraldine Blanchard, Diane Bryson, Cindy Hunt, Janice Fox. Um, Amy, did you want to, we'll, oh, there you are. We're going to unmute you and you can come on and say hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Just wanted to say thank you for the networking that's going on. I just got a, a text while we were on this of someone that I have met said, you know, give me a call. I want to know more about what's going on. So just a quick thank you to you. Oh, no, thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. Is there anything we could do to help you? Um, not that I know of right now. Okay. Thanks. So. Okay. I'm glad you could join us. Anybody else? We've got, um, uh, okay. Who else do I have here? Uh, let's see. Geraldine, did you want to come on here? Let's see. Geraldine Blanchard will promote to panelists. I'm allowed to talk. I'm not sure if we can get Geraldine on. Oh, there's Greg. Oh, we have Deborah Foley. Okay, let's unmute Deborah. Okay, Deborah, you're on. Hi. We have a blank screen, but that's okay. That's my blue band aid. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, how are you making out? Everything is going well. The uh, community is responding to our asks for the student connectivity project and um, getting some big donations and many small donations and all of it helps. We have to raise about $500,000. So it's been a big job. So explain what that's for. They might not have seen, we posted your, um, you know, all the intel that you send out, but people might not have seen it. So Deborah, what are you guys looking for and what's important for the schools right now? Um, so we have about 2,200 students who do not have access to the internet at home. And um, so we have, or they didn't have devices possibly as well. So we you know, have lots of devices in schools that are sitting sh shuttered. So we've made arrangements to loan them devices and we purchased 2,200 hotspots from AT&T and Sprint yeah. so that those people could, um, those kids could access the internet. We still own it. We just like they're on a loan to them, um, but you know, obviously we, we didn't have any budget for that and they cost about $140 each. Wow. So um, that many hotspots times 2,200 kids, you know, it was a pretty big ask. Um, obviously the foundation is helping us and um, you know, huge, huge shout out to the, a lot of the um, aerospace aviation kind of companies, um, Northrop Grumman and Millennial Engineering, Lockheed Martin, those kind of people have come up with some pretty big dollars, but we have lots of little guys giving us, you know, $140. So that's great too. Oh, that's wonderful. So how are you able to get that to the students then? Like, how are you finding out who's in need? Um, we had surveyed parents um, a little bit ahead of time when, you know, the writing was kind of on the wall that, that we were going to be going to online learning. Um, and we are physically delivering the, the hotspots to their houses. Um, as well as there are some pickup sites. But usually they need to be delivered because they need a little bit of technical assistance to get things up and running. 
Okay. Oh, well, thank you for that. Um, good to know. We have um, anything else? That's what I'm working on right now. Okay. All right. Then, um, Joe, do you, I can unmute you. Let's um, get you on screen here. And there we go. Do you have, yeah. hi there. How are you? Hey. Um, yeah. So the biggest thing that we're working on right now, we're waiting for the, um, the okay to lift the open enrollment ban that would normally go to December. So we're thinking it's going to happen pretty soon if it hasn't already happened just today. Um, we, we already have open enrollment for uh, Medicare over 65 that goes all year long, but um, for under 65, we're trying to get open enrollment so we can get people insurance right now. So if, if anyone needs health insurance and they have lost their jobs or, or whatever they're going through, um, we can work with Florida Healthcare Plans and get them some health insurance. Wow, that's great. And so how did they get in touch with you, Joe? Um, I, I, my email is probably the best. Um, I can share my email now, um, or if, if you just work with um, the chamber to get it. Okay. Yeah. And like I said, the chamber, so our number is 321-951-9998. Um, it goes to my cell phone and I'll be able to uh, make sure that anything that comes through, I can um, connect you to the parties that you're looking for. So um, the chamber is still, um, and if you have your app, Joe would be on it so that you could look him up. So just see, um, <laughs> and you can check our website. So, okay, I am now moving over to um, Greg Quinones, if that is okay. And we're gonna unmute him and no, he's got a shake in his head. Oh, you always have something to say. Come on, Greg, uh, there you go. <laughs> Good afternoon, hi everybody. Hello. Hi. Good, good. Uh, something new for everybody, but uh, everybody looking good. I appreciate the time, and uh, I honestly want to say thanks to the Greater Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce because everything you guys are doing, keeping the business community together by you know doing all these chats, all this webinar online, which is ninety percent of our you know interaction now is online. Uh, in behalf of the Multicultural Networking Group, I want to say we're still alive. <laughs> Uh, see some handshakes over there. Uh, we'll, be back. we'll be back. If this is something temporary, uh, business will still go on. You know, the community will be stronger than ever when we come back and have fun. Again, uh, I want to say thanks. Uh, several chats that I've been on tuning in, like the Adam, Mr. Adam Cup here from Linkio. Uh, any business out there that wants to need their help, uh, let us know. We're here to help as well. For me, it's just more than just Linkio. It's more than helping our community, especially the community of Palm Bay. So have a good day, everybody. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the training today and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Well, I heard a new one. It's called Libations and Learn. So I'm thinking maybe we can have like a, a multicultural networking happy hour and uh, we can organize that uh, like from a four to six or something. You have uh, full support. So you have a full right. support and more good things are coming in uh, the next few days, more uh, ideas and planning just to get the voice out there and that in the community that as you said before we're not close uh it's just a different approach that we're taking uh these days but it's been affected i'm happy for it and happy for everybody over there. so have a good day thank you thank you greg okay i have yes I would like to uh, mention the people that is connected through Facebook. They have been uh, commenting that they are happy that we still have our lunch on. on. So we have Charlene Beach, we have Hector Montañez, we have Cherry Martin, we have our famous Don Macarello. He's saying that, where are my table partners? <laughs> I need my table partners. So um, he's thanking us as well to be here. So um, I think that Joe, um, Joe, uh, uh, he left, I think. Joe Gruda connected as well, but I don't know if he left already. Okay, yeah, he got on here. So I'm going to be able to unmute a few more people. I have Pim uh, Parpat. Parpat, sorry, I'm saying that wrong. Are you, do you want to come on? Well, let me put you up here and I'll unmute you. Good. Okay, how are you doing? Good, good afternoon, everybody. I'm happy to report that all the 15 of the 22 clubs, Toastmaster clubs in Brevard County are now meeting online and everybody is welcome to jump in to see what it's like with no obligation. All you have to do is just contact the club and they'll send you the link. 15 clubs are now meeting online. What okay. club was that? One more time? 
What club? We have we have fifteen clubs out of twenty two. We have twenty two clubs in Brevard County, and 20, 15 of them are already meeting online. What so type of clubs are those? It's a Toastmasters club. Oh, Toastmasters. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. I missed that part okay. of it. Um, yeah, you have five minutes. Okay. Are you um, so everybody's invited to join. Oh, very good. Okay, well, thank you, Pim. Yeah, Toastmasters are really important, and this is perfect for everybody having to be on these webinars now. Normally, you know, you kind of just go to events, so now you're having to talk. Um, that would be perfect, because I know I am in awe a lot, so I hope you weren't doing a drinking game or you'd be trashed by now. All right, next we have uh, Janine, and um, let me see if I can get on her screen and unmute Janine. Okay. Hold on. Oh, there you go. So Janine, you are on with us. So hi. hi. Um, I guess what I want to say is hello, everybody. And I'm the one that said I did my hair and put on makeup. <laughs> so I'm glad, you know, you look very this. nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, kidding. I'm just kidding. But Tim, if you have any repairs that need done, he's still um, out there. They say construction workers is an essential worker and he will you know mask up or if there's anything outside people still have things that break down during this that need fixed right away so if you need anything fixed let us know and everybody be safe out there okay that is great thank you so much janine for coming on i have jessica now with 142 productions i'm just going to unmute her yay oh there you go you are live and in person <laughs> Hang in there. Um, I'm obviously working from home and uh, doing what I can. So <laughs> excellent, thanks. And so, are you guys are still filming, or what's what's the status of One for Two Production? So we know. Let me unmute myself. Um, I yeah. am what is called a essential worker. So I'm in communications. Mm -hmm. We do video production and video marketing, and um, we are really really busy trying to help. Um, Companies, um, the city, um, Brevard County, get the word out on what is going on. So, oh, excellent. Okay. So, how can they reach you? Um, you can send me an email, uh, Jessica at 142 Productions. Um, you can send me a message here. I'll be I'll be on until the end of the webinar. Um, find cool. us on Facebook and Twitter. So. Ah, well, and so you can always type in your contact information under the chat part so everybody can see that. So if everybody wants to do that, I've got um, Joe with us um, from JAG Financial, one of our trustees. Joe, I unmuted you. I'm not sure if yours looks like your... I'm here. Oh, there you are. Okay. So how, how are you doing? What would you like to share? We're just hanging in. Just encourage everyone to stay the course and not panic. Uh, markets are going to come back eventually. And uh, just be safe and stay away from everybody. Like, any financial advice? Before. We've been through this before and it's going to be fine. So any financial advice for people? I know that some of them are panicking and it's a rocky road right now. Well, I've been in this business for way over 30 plus years. I've seen a lot of these ups and downs. It always comes back. Just don't sell and you won't have a loss. Okay. And if you need a review, we're here for you. Excellent. If you need calming, just give us a call. The office is open. Uh, we'll be closing on Fridays going forward, but we're here Monday through Thursday. Okay. And we're doing taxes, we're doing financial services, nothing is stopped. So even if your office closed, are they still able to um, call in? Will you sure. have your phones forwarded? So. Yes, it always, it always goes to my cell phone. Perfect. Okay. So we're not well, closing. Until they tell me I can't come here, I'm coming to work. <laughs> I'm here for I, my people. It definitely is easier working from home. I just, or I mean, at work because all you have, you have all your business set up. Like at home here, it's just an, I don't know, a never-ending battle for me right now. I've got people putting in my closet, so I hope you're not hearing all that hammering going on. Um, okay, well, thank you very much, Joe. We certainly appreciate you being on with us, and um, I know that you are a wealth of information, so anybody concerned about the financial markets right now and um, wants somebody to look at your um, portfolio, Joe is there for you. I know he's busy with taxes too, though. I now have Mark uh, Gallegos on with us. I am unmuting you. I know I say your name wrong every time, but hopefully... <laughs> Um, you are, I see that your microphone looks like it's still muted. Is it? Microphone's um, muted. Can you hear me? Here we go. Okay. Yep. You're good. You're on. You can hear me. Okay. Great. Yes. yes. 
congratulations to the Fantastic Four. Okay, Nancy, Carolina, uh, Cindy, all of you are just doing such an incredible job. And I want to thank you so much, Greg, leading the multicultural group. We're holding it together through all of these changes. This is such a dynamic time to be alive and living through challenges in governance and life and participation in, in society and participation in our community. Uh, I wish everybody strength, determination, patience, and good health. Thank you, Mark, very much for joining us. Um, we have Maria now with us. Um, I'm going to try and switch on to her, and I will, I think you're unmuted, so I think you are good to go, Maria. Great. First of all, Catherine, thank you. That was an awesome presentation. I really enjoyed that. Got to learn more about WeVenture. One of the things that I like to share that, you know, everybody's scrambling. Americans are known not to have any extra money saved up and so on and no emergency cash. And I really worry about families that probably don't even have a thousand dollars in their checking account. How are they going to pay rent and mortgage and whatever? I was in financial services many years ago, and I learned that most Americans are only one paycheck away from bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. So it's really unsettling, but there's some things that we can do individually to help us through this time. And one of that is um, we can get rid of our cable TV boxes. We can live without cable TV. We don't, we need the internet if we're in business, but we don't need cable TV. So what I did a couple of weeks ago was, I, I saw this coming, I turned my cable box in. That's 70, saving me $75 a month. That's $900 a year. My electric bill, it's almost a game. I've done this my whole life. I, I raised my kids on a, in a 6,000 square foot house on three acres in Jersey. And I was all about saving money. <laughs> and my electric bill on this house last month was $28. Wow. I don't have any extra fans running. I don't, you know, so you can really tighten the belt. I remember growing up, and not having air conditioning. Oh. Okay, so you think about, today's a beautiful day. People are running their air conditioner. Save the money, shut off the air conditioner, and open some windows. Get a, a nice, and you can use a floor fan if you need, or an overhead fan if you need to circulate some air. You don't have to be uncomfortable, but I'll tell you what, if I'm sitting here in my office, and I'm working, and my thermostat is 80 degrees, I'm comfortable, it's like sitting in the shade of a, a tree or something. I don't need it to be freezing in here. I go to my, my daughter's house and her husband keeps the thermostat at 72 all the time. They come in, they wrap up in blankets when they watch TV. I'm like, you're wasting all this money. Right. <laughs> so right. the thing is that there's ways that we can, we can actually, you know, tighten our belt during this time, not make ourselves really uncomfortable, but just, you know, be mindful of and not be wasteful. It's funny. I don't even know how I came across this, but a couple of weeks ago, I, I found a link to, um, a guy who says how to cut your electric bill in half. Mm -hmm. If you go on YouTube, he, yeah. he's amazing to watch and he's got several series. I only watched one of them. But again, there's ways that we can tighten our belts and, and help us get through this tight time. Oh, thank you very much, Murray. Um, okay, I've got Cindy Hunt. Uh, so let me pull Cindy up and I'm gonna unmute. So I think you know Cindy is our um, member director and uh, our relationship um, director. So we're thrilled she's working from home too. So um, Cindy, how are things going and um, what do you want to tell the members? Well, I just want to let everybody know that, you know, we've created some vehicles. So if you've got a message that you want to get out there, um, please don't hesitate to let us know. Um, you can always email me at cindy at greaterpalmbaychamber.com or you can contact me through my cell, which is 765-744-9926. And I just think that we're really out there trying to help you in any way we can and getting you accurate information and effective information. Um, so if you have any questions or if you're looking for some networking, um, you know, please let us know because we can still create some referrals and things like that. 
Oh, thanks, Cindy. Um, and the last thing is we are looking to go with our leads groups online. So we're trying with the uh, Monday group. They are going to be uh, 12 to 1 online. And if you want to join them to see what a leads group is all about, uh, once again, go to our Facebook page and you'll be able to click on there and get into the leads group. Um, we are checking with Janice to see if she wants to have their uh, the morning one go online as well so we can get that set up. And the next one that we have, the BBP one, our, la our Brevard Business Professionals, the last Tuesday of the month, you'll actually be able to go into groups. Shannon will put you into groups and you'll be able to network online. She, she knows how to do all that. That's, um, we're learning as we go along, but she's the queen already been doing this for a long time. So join us on that Tuesday morning. It's 8 a.m., but you'll definitely be able to um, kind of network with each other in uh, virtually, but still get into a group and really talk to people. So um, check out all the events that we have going on. And I just heard from um, Orlando. They're calling it Pickup. And so for us, we'd call it Pick Up Palm Bay. And it's where you're supporting the local businesses, where you're going to the local restaurants, where you're going to, you know, like order, you know, so it's pick up and go <laughs> um, where you're not eating in, but just still keeping the local businesses supported. Um, and I know we're trying to social distance and stay home and that, but um, there are delivery methods with restaurants and that anymore. So um, if we do Pick Up Palm Bay, we'll be... Um, you know, strong when we get to the end of this. So I thank you all for joining us. If you wanted, like I said, more information about um, local lenders, please join, <clears throat> excuse me, the Brevard Business Community. It's the Brevard Business Support and uh, working with local lenders on Friday. And that is going from 1 to 2.30. So they'll be able to talk about some of the options that are out there for you. Uh, the SBA is the perfect place to call. And Catherine um, at WeVenture, thank you so much for your presentation. It was so informative. And they're here to help you as well. So if you reach out to them, they can help you walk through, um, you know, what's going to be the best option to, to take because there's now a lot of different ones out there and you don't know what's going to maximize the results for your business so thank you all we went a little late as always we are the chatty chamber so um but thank you all we have jennifer valier that wants to talk and there is an oh. announcement from sherry martin so after jennifer talks we can oh i didn't see them come on sure go ahead hi guys thanks nancy um can you hear me yeah Oh, okay, great. Um, just real quick, I wanted to let everybody know um, that like Joe was saying, um, we are essential employees as financial advisors. So if anybody needs to get in touch with us, I am doing Zoom and I'm doing phone calls. I'm not on physical contact with anyone. So if anyone out there does need some advice or help, and also I know life insurance is a real biggie right now. Um, we hate to think of those kinds of things in this crisis, but honestly, it does kind of open everybody's eyes that if you don't have a life insurance policy, maybe now is the time. So we can send you through underwriting. The nurse does stay six feet away. Um, so just things like that. I want everybody to stay safe and healthy. And if you are already a Thrivent member, you get two action teams a year that are $250. Um, you can do a virtual action team. For example, we have some groups right now getting together to do masks. So even though we're not together physically, everybody can kind of Zoom like we're doing now in sewing masks. So if you are a member, just think of that, those gift cards that can really help businesses right now. Thanks, Sounds Diane. great. Thank you so much for that, Jennifer. And there was somebody else you said, Carolina? Yes, it's Sherry Martin saying, she posted on Facebook saying that she invites Brevard women to join tomorrow, April the 2nd at 1130 to one. Uh, for an online mastermind. They're offering this mastermind free for this month. So I'm going to just uh, type the um, a website if somebody wants to join from here. That's it. Okay. Yeah, that's the Women's Prosperity Network. So great organization. Um, okay. Well, thank you all for joining us. And um, this has been a very nice lunch hour. So I appreciate spending it with everybody. And uh, we'll look forward. Oh, Joe. Yep. I, I want to say I made homemade chicken tacos. I was going to show off to the group, but oh, I already ate them. I ate them during the meeting. So. I, you can so mean. I was all proud of them too, but oh well. Maybe next time. 
Yeah, well, you know, once you start going like Tom and, and taking pictures of everything so that, you know, our mouth waters, then, then we know you're, uh, yeah, the chef extraordinaire. But thank you all. I mean, I think being um, able to connect and talk to each other, um, is, it's nice. It, it's kind of more that sense of normal in a chaotic world and day right now. So thank you all. Um, be safe, self-distance, and... Um, check the uh, chamber um, Facebook is going to be the most, most updated but our website now has a COVID page if you wait um, for the top picture it'll change from just a picture of the city to the COVID unfortunately virus but that'll have all kinds of resources on there so if you're looking for all that information um, but check all the chamber websites because they're all putting out really good information so thank you all for joining us and we'll see you at our next chamber chat bye thanks Nancy bye Thanks, everybody. Bye.